welcome to Dirt Guy Drive Time. This is the show where the host could be killed at any moment. Ah, so ha, you better get me while you can, people, because you never know. Hey, happy Friday, everybody. It's time for the big weekend wrap-up edition of Dirt Guy Drive Time. And it is, let's see, what is it? The 26th of July and the year of our Lord, 2019. I almost said 1919. Ah, that's old school, isn't it? Anyway, on my way home from work, as usual, and if uh, you've been watching all week long, you know, it's been one heck of a week. But um, let me just uh, jump off by saying that um, a huge weight lifted off my shoulders today. Massive weight. Uh, a bone-crushing weight was lifted. Scotty. Ah, little Jim Kirk for you. Lifted off my shoulders. And here's why. Uh, if you recall, I don't know, back a while ago, I was telling you about a concrete subcontract we have that poured a massive concrete deck uh, on my job and uh, just did a, just a crappy job. It is terrible. And every time I walk that slab, I relive it. And it just makes me want to vomit. It's so bad. Well, same contractor uh, is supposed to pour the little in-between piece of slab as well. It's about, represents maybe one quarter of the entire pour. And so I did not realize Hold on, I gotta change lanes. Hold, please. Lane change. Um, I did not realize how much that was stressing me out because I just knew this contractor is gonna do another heinous job of pouring concrete. The finish would be crap. My framers are gonna be going wham, wham, wham. Can't get my walls plumb because the concrete's no good. Gotta wedge everything up. Gotta dry pack it. Oh, I've been going through that for like months now, people. When all of a sudden, concrete slab was poured, they brought enough freaking guys this time, and boom, beautiful slab sitting out there. I stand on my perch and I look down and I go, beautiful for spacious skies, or something like that. It's so awesome. So um, I didn't sleep well the last few days in anticipation of this pour. Uh, burden lifted, I ain't gotta worry about it. This troublesome POS contractor is now officially not my problem anymore. <laughs> anyway, what are your plans for the weekend? Got anything exciting going on? I'm on my way home right now. Um, truth be told, my uh, general superintendent's like totally cool dude. I said, hey bro, I wanna leave like an hour early today because the first lady has the day off. Is that cool? He's like, dude, get her done. <laughs> Boom. It just keeps getting better. So I'm starting my weekend off by um, getting home from work early, which is very exciting stuff. So I can shave and shower, uh, kiss the wife, have a couple of beers, and light off my video camera. I just have two videos to shoot this weekend. Uh, one for my Model Railroad channel, one for a Model Railroad video plus, which will be the seventh one I've done for them. Trying to get all that done this weekend, so pretty much uh, that, plus our talk show on Saturday mornings at 7 a.m. on the Tracksmack channel. Tracksmack, name of the show. Uh, I'm going to be doing that live. So anyway, that will be my weekend, pretty much. Um, I don't know of anything else to report, but hey, here's the reason why uh, at any moment I could be killed. I was on my way to work this morning, which ironically, went to bed a little early, got up early, didn't take as much time to get ready for work. I have a little routine I do. Cut back on it a little bit. Uh, got in the truck, driving to work. I wanted to get to work early. That concrete pour started at 2 a.m. Uh, my assistant was there to supervise. He did a phenomenal job, by the way. I love this dude. Uh, I was trying to get there about 5.15. Um, just so I could, you know, witness some of it. And uh, so all that earliness, I still got to work at 6.40 instead of 5.40 or 5.15. Why, Steve? Why did you get to work late? Because the freeway that I take, um, they had two lanes shut down. And the reason is when I finally got up there is because apparently there was a traffic accident. And by the time I got there, all that was there was a coroner and a yellow body bag. That was it. And I gotta tell you something. Uh, I'm not trying to end our week on a downer. Matter of fact, on Fridays, I think I'm gonna try to do and say something uplifting to my little congregation out there in the video world. Uh, it really got me thinking. I'll bet whoever was in that body bag when they left their house thought they would come home. 
um, today. And uh, I'll bet the people they left behind at the house were pretty sure whoever left would come home today. And suddenly, in the blink of an eye, somebody didn't come home. And you know, the thing is, that is like the third time in my life I've seen that. Uh, one time I was uh, got to work on a job site. Um, anyway, near here, you won't know where it is. And uh, we were working in the back, and in the back was the freeway. And the front was, I mean, where I was working was a shopping center, but in the back of it, it boarded the freeway. And we went back there, and I got there just in time to see the coroner uh, throw a body onto its gurney and watch a leg flop out that was like a rag doll. And it just, and it was, the, the foot on the leg was wearing the same work boots I was. They were wearing blue jeans like I was. It turns out the driver apparently had fallen asleep at the wheel and just went full speed into a freeway overpass and just dead on arrival. And so, you know, those kind of things can happen in a blink of an eye, even if it's not our fault. I could be driving along right now and not, not do anything wrong, paying attention, um, minding the rules of the road, and some jackhole who's texting or drunk or has a heart attack or for whatever reason, smacks the front of my car, smacks me into the side of a freeway overpass or into oncoming traffic, and I'm done. You know, today could be the day, God forbid, that uh, that I went to work and came home a grieving widower. Or today could be the day I went to work and tonight my wife goes to sleep a wrecked, grieving widow. Nobody sees it coming. Nobody knows it's coming. Nobody expected it. And it just happens. And so... That's the gravity of where we're at, okay? Now, I'm not trying to be Debbie Downer here or be, you know, Mr. Morbid, Morbid Mel or something. But it really made me stop and remember something. That every day, I cannot take precious moments for granted. The time I get with my wife, I can't take that for granted. I got to make the most of that. Um, she is the most awesome thing that ever happened to me. And for no fault of anybody she could just be gone tomorrow she could be gone five minutes from now and I I, I don't want to dwell on that because it freaking freaks me out to even consider the possibility but there are those times where I just casually don't listen to her or go oh yeah that's great honey blah 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 tell me more about your day you know and then there's someday I could be the one going god damn it why did I why did I behave that way why did I respond to her that way as if I had tomorrow you may not have tomorrow. So here's, here's what I'd like to encourage all of us in my little viewing audience to do. Especially the people that are close to us. We gotta love them. We gotta say, I love you. We've gotta take time, pause from our stupid, busy videoing schedules and say, I love you, baby. You're more important than anything else. Let's hang up. Every night when we go to bed, I love you, baby. Love you too. You know what I mean? Uh, my wife will text me every morning when she gets out of bed. I'm already standing on the job site when she gets up because I get there pretty early. And she texts, good morning, baby. I love you. I send back a text, good morning, babe. I love you. When I'm on my way home from work, I always tell her heading home. And she always goes whoop or yay or get her done or something. And the first thing I do when I get home, well, the first thing I let the, the terrier's dog pile on me. Second thing I do is uh, hug and kiss the wife. And then we sit down and chit chat about our day and stuff like that so anyway again this weekend especially let's all stop look the people we love right in the eye and say i love you and uh and never take them for granted i know it's it's easier said than done sometimes but let's not take them for granted anyway oh sorry that was a coffee burp huh i kind of killed that point at moment anyway that's what i got on my mind right now um yeah, anyway, so I hope you have a phenomenal weekend. I hope you kiss some people you love and hug them and tell them you love them. And I really hope to see you back here again Monday afternoon on my way home from my day job. So anyway, until then, make it a great weekend, people. And I'll see you Monday.